Okay, so today I'll be showing how we can uh, log in and place the order via Kotak Neo API. I know it's frustrating because you know the documentation is not proper by this Kotak Neo guys. <clears throat> Even I felt the same uh, initially and didn't you know explore their APIs just because of the documentation. But today I just found how we can you know log in via their API. So the first thing first. Uh, we actually need to ask them to provide the credentials. So uh, once they provide the credentials, you will get the credentials like this. You'll get the username, password, there's a new fin key. Also, they provide the documentation, which will just open up uh, this Postman documentation. So let's start uh, with the document documentation. So the first thing before login, what they ask us to generate the access token, right? So. As they mentioned, the first step before login is to authenticate your API. You may generate access token via API, or you can directly generate your access token from the API manager portal. So I'll just open this API manager portal. And I have just uh, logged in uh, with this credential. So you may be asked uh, uh, for login, just provide uh, these credentials, which you got uh, via the email, username and password, and you will be uh, redirected to this portal. After that, go to uh, probably let me yeah, go to let's log in uh, this documentation and maybe because we are looking for, yeah. So the first thing you actually need to add a new application. So let me create a new application. Uh, be keeping unlimited and just save so once we save it just go to this auth2 tokens and i have just already create i'll just click on the generate keys of this okay now click on this curl to generate access token right once after doing this just click on this and you will get a uh, pop up like this. Select the second pop up, uh, something like this. By clicking on this, and I'll open the terminal, and I'll just paste the curl. Or let's say before that, let me just open the Postman. Best way to get the key. Click on Import. Select the raw text, paste this curve, and import this, and send it. So you will get this access token, right? The first access token. So what you can do is just copy this access token and uh, so create an environment. For example, just click on this icon, click on add. Let's say I'll be giving Kotak even something like this. And this is the access token. So I'll create a variable name access token. I'll paste the value access token. This and save it. So make sure whenever you are using any of the Kotak API, uh, this environment is the Kotak env because that's where we'll get the values of these variables. Okay. So in the first step, we got the access token, right? Now in the second step, uh, let's close this. Now let's go back to the documentation. <clears throat> so uh, as they mentioned, username and password for uh, this is what they are saying. Uh, we need to use uh, this credential uh, for logging the, the portal. This part is done. And we have generated the access token as well. Uh, now head back to the login API, right? So what they are mentioning this validity user credential for login to step like just to a free, mm -hmm. it returns JWT token and session ID. This will be needing uh, this, we will be getting uh, afterwards. So what they are expecting, they are expecting the combination of mobile number and MPIN and mobile number and password. So basically they have actually two steps to log in uh, via the API. So first they are expecting mobile number and MPIN. 
and in second step we they expect us to enter mobile number and password so let's go to the you know the first uh, api this is the first api uh, i mean the first step uh, for login so this is the live api url we'll be using this live url and let me just copy the curl here and i'll go to uh, postman and click import raw text this okay now in headers authorization uh, this barrier token right so we need to provide the access token which we got so i'll be removing this uh, whatever we have provided and i'll just remove the whole thing i'll be pasting uh, not this one okay so see in in the first step i got this access token right so and in this ex, uh, in this authorization they are expecting barrier token something like this so what I actually did is i have already saved the variable right uh, this is the initial value what i'll do is i'll change it to the this with this barrier token Yes, I'll just copy this value and paste in the current value as well. Okay, and update it. Close this. So in this, I'll just provide the this access token. Okay, and this will have the whole value. If you see here, it, it is showing the uh, whatever the value which we have passed here. Right, the whole uh, the whole value. Okay. In body, uh, we will be what we'll be providing. In the first, for they are asking us to provide the mobile number and M pin. So I will copy this mobile number. And I'll provide the M pin as well. So this M pin uh, you might have uh, set uh, in your <clears throat> in your uh, in your mobile app, so you can get it from there. And yeah, I'll change the URL. That's what they are mentioning to uh, change the URL for the live because I'm working on the live environment. Okay, and I'll post it. There are some, there's some issue. Let me check. Okay, so I was getting some issue while creating uh, this token, and I just realized that this subscription, right? Uh, so where you can go, see this is the application, application one, and the subscription. So I was not subscribed to this API. So you just need to click on subscribe APIs and select all this. So I've subscribed the APIs as well as uh, that's this production API key. So uh, anyway, you can ignore this because even I have generated this API key as well, but I didn't find any use of this, but the main thing is the subscription. You need to subscribe to all these APIs. So once you do that, uh, in first step, let, let me again generate this access token. So this is the access token. Let me copy this access token till here. And in environment variable, I'll just run this, this access token. Let me just paste this as is. Or probably let me add the value to transfer. Um, yeah, there is. Let 
me just change the name as something like this. Maybe token update. Okay. And in this, I'll paste the value as this value token. Make sure your this environment is selected. In body, I am providing a mobile number and M pin. So once I click on send, it is generating this token SID and RID. These are the details. This is actually the JWT token which we'll be needing. So now let's go back to the documentation. So this is first step. As they mentioned, we got this token SID RID. Okay. So in second step, we need to generate the session. So <clears throat> In second step, what they are looking for is this SID auth authorization, the barrier token in the headers and in request body. Uh, what they are looking for is pass another set of the combination this time. So what combination they're looking for? They're looking for something like this. So in the first step, we pass mobile number and M pin. In the second step, we'll be passing mobile number and the password. So um, let me just copy the curl here for the second step. Click on import raw text. Import and in headers, see this SID. So remember in the first step we got this SID, right? So I'll just copy this SID and also I'll create a variable as well into this environment. So I can reuse it again. I'll pass SID, I'll paste the value here and update. And uh, this is, so in this, I'll be just providing the SID variable auth. So this auth is nothing but uh, the token which we got into here. So I'll copy this and I'll create another variable as well. Create variable as auth, I'll paste this. I will update and I will instead of this I'll provide as the auth variable and authorization barrier token so for which we have already created this barrier token okay and in the body what they'll uh, as they mentioned during the second step uh, we will be using uh, this combination, mobile number and password. So I'll just copy this. And this mobile number is my registered mobile number with uh, Kite API. And the password is my uh, trading password. So I'm providing this password, mobile number, and let's also we need to change the live URL. So let me change this to this. Copy the link right here and send it. So in this step, we got uh, this right. Now our session is generated. So in the second step, now our SID is also generated. Now also uh, what they are mentioning is that, see the session token. The session token expires in one hour currently to avoid the session expiry, you can call the session API at every 45 to 50 minutes. So this is because I think uh, they're expiring this token every 45 minutes. So we need to call the refresh token API. And then comes this, the next API is the refresh token API. So what in this API, what they're looking for is the auth header, the SID and the authorization. So I'll just copy the curl here for the refresh token and click on import your text. Continue, import and in header, SID. So we already have created value for variable for SID. Auth we have already created auth variable 
barrier token also we have created. And in body, this RID, right? So remember in the last step, we got this RID. So just copy this RID. And paste it here. And just click on send. Okay, so this is how you can uh, generate this uh, refresh token, uh, which you can use it. Okay. And now you are able to log in. So how we can determine is, so till now this is the login pro process. Uh, let me see if I can place the order, right? Because this is most important part of this. So let's go to this placeholder API. I'll just copy the curl and click on import raw text. This continue import. Okay. And in headers, as you can see, they're looking for this SID, so which we already have it. SID auth, we already have it. Neofin key, right? So this is also something which you which you have got during the credential. This is something like this Neo Trade API. And also they mentioned here uh, for live environment, this is the uh, value which you need to provide in the Neo Fin key, Neo Trade API. So I'll be providing this, or let's say, let me just create a variable because this Neo Fin key and update it. And I'll provide the value variable for this new fin key. New fin key, very token we already have. And in body, this is something. So they are uh, they are passing uh, www form URL encoded data instead of JSON. And for the same, they have written the documentation as well. If you open this, this link. So these are the field uh, which uh, you would be providing while placing the order. You can go through this, but for now I'll just uh, let it be as it is. I have provided the header details. And also, as they are mentioning, yeah, for live API, I need to provide this URL. Copy this. And yeah, I'll click on send. Yeah, I got the status. The status okay. And 200. And if you check in your, uh, in your uh, Neo app, it would be, it would also show the order. Just because today is Sunday and uh, the market is not open, also I don't have the balance into this account. Uh, it will be shown as the failed order, but you can see you can place the order, right? And you will get the response like this. So yeah, I think this is a small video on how you can log in via the trade API. Okay, thank you. Hope this helps to the people who are facing uh, the login issue in the New York Trade Thank you.